Tonight, the uh, Trump administration is under orders by a federal judge to speed up its slow and chaotic efforts to reunite separ separated immigrant, immigrant families, setting a new 30-day deadline. Government figures show, and this is shocking, only six of the children uh, have rejoined their families over the past six days since the president signed that executive order reversing the separation policy. Let's go to our national correspondent, Miguel Marquez. He's joining us from Texas near the uh, Mexican border. Miguel, the judge was very, very critical of the Trump administration. Boy, it was a very critical judge, and it's worth keeping in mind that this was a judge that was appointed by a Republican, and activists and lawyers who now work in the field trying to get immigrants uh, legal help, they are pushing the government as hard as possible to implement this ruling immediately. Reunite families within 30 days, ordered a federal judge, a reversal for President Trump and his so-called zero-tolerance policy. In a sharp rebuke, U.S. District Court Judge Dana Sabra, appointed by George W. Bush, called the confusion created by the zero-tolerance policy, quote, a chaotic circumstance of the government's own making, saying that, quote, migrant children are not accounted for with the same efficiency and accuracy as property. The Justice Department responded by asking Congress for legislation, but that seems unlikely. The president called immigrants animals. It's a dehumanizing impact of these people fleeing their countries for a safe haven. The Texas Civil Rights Project represents nearly 400 separated families and hopes to begin reuniting them soon. Trump, escucha, estamos en la lucha. The zero tolerance policy generating protest across the country. In Washington, D.C., two protests. One at the Immigration and Customs Enforcement headquarters. Protest also at a detention facility near El Paso and ICE offices in Portland, Oregon. Angelica Rebecca Gonzalez Garcia was separated from her eight year old daughter nearly two months ago. The Guatemalan mother is seeking asylum here. I'm desperate, she says. I just want my daughter back. Her son. Maggie Krell represents a mother from Honduras whose six year old son, born with brain damage, was taken from her three weeks ago. They've spoken once. The little boy asked his mother to come and get him. She is very, very concerned. She's very fearful. She wants to be able to see him herself, to hug him herself, to make sure that he has the medication that he needs. Now, the Office of Refugee Resettlement that is responsible for these minors says that it is providing quality care and its number one priority is reunification, but we have not seen that. By the government's accounting, 2,047 kids remain separated from their parents tonight.